It's all in the timing from him up above. Any day now. <laughs> Any day now, let me know. Give me a sign. Beeps! <laughs> <laughs> Guess where we are at? Where are we? So I think it's called the Junior League. Oh, you look like you're in a garden. I know, isn't it gorgeous? <laughs> I want this at my house. Yeah, yeah. I'm like, Joe, can you do this? <laughs> here we go, guys. It'll be here set up just like this next week. We'll be installing those green balls right, right? there. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, we are here tonight. Uh, I am one of the panelist speakers uh, here at the Houston Business Women's Summit. Mm -hmm. uh, it's all about women's empowerment and helping empower women to be the best they can be and never give up. So let's go. I want to introduce you to some of the girls and uh, I hope you enjoy tonight. of the Houston Businesswoman Association and I've invited all these beautiful panelists to join us today. We have vendors, sponsors, giveaways, fashion show, magazine launch, so much going on here today in Houston, Texas. It's my honor to bring this to our city. Hi, I'm Logan Lester, a top producing real estate agent here in Houston, Texas and also former Miss Texas USA 2018. I'm so excited to be here to host and MC this fabulous event. Event that's all about empowering females, we rise by lifting others and that's that's what we're all about here today. So I'm so excited to be interviewing all of the beautiful ladies and as they share their passions and great advice with all the people that have come to listen to them today. Hey, it's Vanessa Cole with Cole Climb Builders. Just so thankful for Vanessa and the Houston Business Women team for having us here. So excited and I look forward to networking with everyone. Hi, I'm Malia Morales and I'm honored and excited to be here tonight at the Houston Business Women Summit. Hello, I'm Bianca Calderon de la Chica. I'm Houston personal entry attorney and I'm so excited to be a part of this amazing event filled with women and I just feel the amazing spirit in this room and I know this is going to be an incredible night. Hi, my name is Annabelle Barron and I am very excited to be here and honored to uh, share this experience with all these beautiful women. Hi, I'm Michelle, beauty life coach and I am so honored and thankful to be a part of this incredible event where we get to inspire, empower and bring so much much hope to these women even after COVID so thank you Vanessa for hosting this so thankful to be with all these incredible women can't wait for you guys to see what this is all about all right Teresa I have your next question and that is you have made a great impact here in the city of Houston so being in such a polished world where everyone expects you to be a certain way what advice do you give other women in the room or watching live um, what kind of advice would you give them to just fully embrace who they are, to be themselves, despite the image that they feel that they have to upload? Ooh, that's a good question. <laughs> <laughs> you gave me the hard one. Um, you got it. I have basically been a person my entire life that has walked to the beat of my own drum. I have never cared what somebody next to me is wearing. I don't care... Uh, what what the expectations are. I don't care what is socially acceptable. I just do what I want to do. I mean, you know, unless you're paying my bills, you don't tell me what to do. <laughs> yes, ma'am. <laughs> but I, I think I think everyone has their own individuality, and you no one should be able to tell you what you can and cannot do. You you, you know, we as women should empower each other, not tear each other down. Absolutely. So. You know, a lot of people. A lot of people always think you dress for men, but we don't. We dress for women. Absolutely. <laughs> we really do because we know the minute we walk out the door, it's a woman that's evaluating us, not a man. <laughs> so I just tell everybody: just be your own, be your own person, and you know, empower each other. Yeah. I mean, that's what we're on this earth for. We're not here to tear each other down. We're here to empower each other, lift each other up, and help push each other to the top. Wow, I'm, I'm taking notes over here, just taking it all down. That's amazing. 
Well, I've basically always said the only person standing in the way of your success is you. Get out of your way and make it happen. And don't be afraid of failure because failure at least shows that you're trying. There is not any one person that's ever made a million dollars or been famous or anything that has never failed in their life. Everyone has failed. And I can't count how many times I've failed, but you know what? I kept trying, I kept trying, I kept trying. I mean, like, that's just, that's, I know no other way than to keep trying. So you just have to get out of your own way. Don't be afraid of failure. Failure's at least showing people that you're trying. And, you know, I, t I tell people, reach for the stars. Dreams do come true, but you have to work for it. It's not going to be handed to you. Whew. <laughs> you were the star, and... Oh, it was so hot up there. Oh, my goodness gracious, guys. So, anyways, uh, I hope you enjoyed a little bit of today. Um, we are going to finish this video at home because we are going to add into this Motivational Monday video. But I wanted to show you a little bit of what I do almost... I don't know. Before COVID, I was doing it almost monthly, it seemed like, you know. Yes. But anyways, uh, like I said, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it great panel of women. I think a lot of fantastic answers, a lot of fantastic questions, and I think everyone was extremely honored to be here to help empower these young women, older women, didn't matter. Um, fab, you look fabulous too. <laughs> you want to come see yourself on uh, on camera? You know I so, do. So, you know, he's over here looking all fab too, so, you know, he had to look all hot. <laughs> Oh, it feels so good to dress up. I know, and wear makeup and... And be out. Look how many, like, 255 people in there. I know. Are we going to be scared tomorrow? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to take a lot of vitamin C tonight. Right, <laughs> right, <laughs> right. <laughs> because everybody had to wear a mask to get here, but the mask was not required to yeah. be in there. But it was so cool to be at an event again. It was so cool and to be in an event. all your supporters in person. Yes, yes. Like, a lot of people so came out to me and like, I love Teresa, I love the channel, you guys are so funny. And I'm like... It's so cool to like see him again. Right. right. So guys, look, look who's with me today. They're dragging me. <laughs> this is what happens when you get both of them on a leash. They drag you. Because when you come to the park with them, they smell every dog in the world. So we're chasing dog piss. <laughs> <laughs> or dog scent. I don't know how that, how that goes. See? We're checking out the tree. <laughs> Who's already gone to the bathroom on this tree? <laughs> Who's been here? Who's been here? Can you imagine if we all walked around and smelled each other? Right? You're in. <laughs> so guys, um, I hope you're enjoying today's video. I just love speaking at those types of events because it's so empowering. Look at this, look at this t-shirt. Yes. Mm-hmm. You know, as I talked about it, uh, in the at the conference you know women need to learn how to support each other and empower each other and not tear each other down you know and you, you see it so much even on social media where where people oh where people aren't really supporting uh, each other they're tearing other people down right. you know and I don't know if it's jealousy or hate or or what you know I don't know if these people on the other end of these keyboards are you know, they don't have the confidence. I have to keep moving or these dogs are going to drive me crazy. <laughs> um, I don't know if they just don't have the confidence to get out there and do things and try things themselves. Or, and so they want to tear the people down that are doing it. Right. Or, or what. But um, I have always been all about empowering people, uplifting people. Um, even as an employer, you know, I find great satisfaction in supporting and empowering people that work with me. Um, even Fab, you know. Mm -hmm. I try my hardest to help Fab get out there and be the best he can be. Ooh, don't get in that icky water. Ew, ew. <laughs> Look how dirty it is, and yet the water's so green. <laughs> wow. Um, but I'm all about wanting people to get out there and be the best they can be, you know. I don't even think Fab has really tapped into all of his greatness yet. No. I think it's a process in work, a process that's going to continue on for years and years and years. Mm. I think he's tapping into it, but... I need it now. <laughs> that's, that's the problem. Everybody wants it now. I don't want to wait five years. I don't want to... You think I was where I am now at the age of 30? 
I was freshly divorced, didn't have a pot to piss in, had two babies. Like, you, you think I'm at where I'm at now? When I was even 30? <laughs> at 25, 26, your age, I was married, unhappily, you know? So, that's the problem. Everybody just wants things now. Nobody wants to work at it. Nobody wants to wait for it. Everybody just wants it now. Why can't it happen now? Guess what? God knows when it's gonna happen. It's all in the timing from him up above. Any day now. <laughs> Any day now. Let me know. Give me a sign. <laughs> like lightning. <laughs> lightning hits you. There's your sign. Now calm down and get your ass back to work. <laughs> <sighs> but it's just like, remember when I wanted these guys to hurry and grow up because they were such babies? Yes. And they were like constant 24 hour care. And now look, a year later, with some time and some patience, they're like little adolescents. Look at him. Look how cute. Mm -hmm. It's like being a teacher, you know, but it, it kind of goes back to my, my personal training days when I was a personal trainer and I taught people how to get healthy. As, as a matter of fact, we're doing that with Fab right now. Mm -hmm. How's it going, Fab? Week two. I'm ready to get over this hump. The weekend was uh, a little rocky, little but a lot of exercise. I had to walk all over that amusement park. Yeah. All at the river walk. But Lots the, of walking. But the eating wasn't that great. I mean, not that bad. Not I mean, I stuck bad. to, you know, the shells. The nachos looked the good. The cheese. <laughs> <laughs> but anyways, I, I like I said, whether it's personal training, helping people get in shape, helping people eat healthy. Um, I'm so proud of my older sister after all these years. She's finally, after all these years of me offering advice and offering help, my help to family members, my older sister has finally reached out to me and asked for my help. So I'm helping her on her journey right now. I couldn't be more prouder. Um, so yeah, I, I just, I love being able to help people, motivate people. You know, I always used to think I was supposed to be a nurse or something like that, because I, I loved helping people. And I soon found out that nursing was not my gig. But personal training and motivation and inspiration is my gig. And I'm very, very, very good at it. So, like I said, I hope you enjoyed today's video. Um, I think it was an amazing event to be around 255 women. Oh, there were men in the audience, too. Yeah, there, were, there were men too, there, in too. there. Yeah. Um, How was it like seeing all of your supporters and followers? It was so... You had a long line of people waiting to see you. Long line. Long line. And every one of them were like, Oh my God, I follow you. I love you. I'm so glad I got to finally meet you. You know, it makes me really want to have a meet and greet again. You know, seriously. Um, because it's, it's long overdue. Um, I was a little scared to be around 255 <laughs> people without masks. Um, but then that fear disappeared when we got in there and started getting around everyone. You know, and, and people are face to face with you, asking advice, hugging on you. Um, but we're day four, we're, we don't have any symptoms yet, so <laughs> tomorrow's day five. <laughs> we'll keep you guys we're keeping updated. our fingers crossed. And it was just so much fun. You know, it's, it's a slight glimmer of hope of the future is uh, coming back to life as we once knew it. Um, so yeah, so guys, just like I said in, uh, in some of my speech there on stage, you know, the only person standing in the way of your success is you. Get out of your own way, get out there and try it. Failure at least means you're trying. Because you know what, if you're not trying, somebody else is. Oh my goodness. Nikki said that's right. That's right, Ricky says I, Amen to that. Amen. <laughs> Amen to that. Amen. He's like, this is not our yard, Mom. <laughs> so, guys, get out there. Live your best life. And if you haven't entered the contest, to give the giveaway contest, go back on my last video. Watch that video. We do have a Dior giveaway, so you might want to enter. Follow the directions in the video. A lot of you guys have submitted videos. Me and Teresa have been watching We've videos been watching, all morning. We've been watching videos all day long. We've got a lot of entries and may the best person win.